Hello Chill Computer Guy, today we're taking a look at Bitwig Studio 1.3.16. It's an RC, in other words, it was not released. Um, but uh, it seems to, I'm having DSP issues. I've been having uh, DSP issues with Bitwig from uh, the last three or four or five updates. I don't know how long, but um, so what I've done is I don't think it's my system. I don't think it's my, my, uh, my uh, audio uh, interface or anything like that. And so what I did is I set up a very specific test um, in Bitwig Studio, and then I'm going to replicate that exact same test in another uh, uh, DA, another DAW of the computer because it's going to be playing through the interface, so it'll be playing through the uh, HS80s here. But I'll, I'll hold my headphone up to him so you can kind of hear what's going on. Um, but that's that's what I got going on. So let's let's get started with the test. So right here you can see what I have is I have a uh, a codex, but it's a layered codex. In other words, if I open this up, you'll see there's three separate codexes, okay? Um, and now, each one of these codexes has a separate uh, separate preset. So what I got going on is I got three codecs layered up in an instrument layer, okay? And they're all playing separate patches. I have... Uh, iPad Air, Water Caves, and Welcome to Codex. Those are the three presets. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close those all down. And as you can see, they're in an instrument layer. Okay, now I'm feeding that instrument layer MIDI data. What I'm giving it is a four note chord. So there's a four note chord that is playing through all three um, of the codexes. So three codexes, three separate codexes layered together, all with separate uh, presets, playing a four-note chord. It's a little strenuous on the DSP, but I want you to see how strenuous here. We're going to play this in Bitwig Studio, and then we're going to open the same exact concept, exact same three presets layered with the exact same four-note chord progression in a different DAW and see the different results we're getting. We've waited long enough, let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, I think you've had enough. Now, actually, believe it or not, that is an improvement over Bitwig 1.3.15. Okay, Bitwig 1.3.15 actually performed worse than the Bitwig 1.3.16 RC, which is actually not even a, a uh, an actual release. It's still it's a, the next update, but it's still in technically a beta. Uh, tester you saw that there what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna close this down okay we're closing that down no I don't want to save it okay then we're gonna open up a different DAW I'm not gonna tell you which one but this is a DAW that I have been kinda messing around with more like on a trial type basis um, but I I cannot seem to find a groove with this DAW I cannot get like a sick analog-y kind of uh, jello-y groove. I just seem to be... This digital audio workstation, although it has everything you could ever want, just is, seems a little stiff to me. I can't seem to get a good vibe going out of it. But it is Studio One, okay? So we have that exact same setup here. You can see there's our, uh, our codexes, our three codexes. We gotta thumbtack it down there. So as you can see, we have the exact same setup here. We have the three codexes, we have iPad Air, we have Water Caves, and we have Welcome to Codex. Let's go ahead and close these down. You see we have them all layered, and then we're feeding it that exact same MIDI. Here we go, let's hit play.
So as you can see, we're still up in the 80 and 90 percent. Like we're still up there. And there was one or two little cracks, but this DAW is performing better than Bitwave Studio as far as the exact same setup. And so I'm hoping that this will be remedied. Like I say, the 1.3.15 release was actually worse than the 1.3.16 RC. So, and I believe the 1.3.14 and 1.3.13 was even worse. But I know that I believe it was 1.3.9 where I was creating projects and having, doing fine, and then I up, updated to I think it was 1.3.12 is where I started having problems where I would open up I would open up these old projects and I literally couldn't even play them in Bitwig Studio because I was having DSPS spikes to the point where I it killed my inspiration to the point I had to just shut Bitwig down for a couple of months because I like literally couldn't work in it you know, I shouldn't have to use, I mean, if you just use all its its, its stock devices, it does great, but I want to be able to use um, my VSTs. Now this Serum, Serum is a very popular VST. I did this exact same test with Serum, three separate Serums, and it performed very, very similar. Bitwig was choppy as heck, um, and then Studio One was, it was up there in the 80s and 90s, but it still played fluently through, you know. So anyway, hopefully in a Bitwig 2.0, oh, they will remedy this and the DSP will get it all squared together. Anyways, chill computer guys, this little demo. We'll see you guys next week. Please subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys next week.